The lights that flash on top of state police cruisers are starting to look a little different. Check it out. These red and blue lights flash horizontally and vertically. The New York State Police are testing these top lights to see if more drivers will take notice of emergency vehicles, making the side of the road safer for everyone. Certainly, uh, we'll do the study, see how uh, if accidents are reduced with law enforcement, specifically troopers, uh, throughout the state, and hopefully we'll get most of these cars equipped with it to give motorists a little bit more of a heads up that there's a, a problem in the road ahead. New York's move over law was enacted in 2011 and expanded in 2016 to protect a wider range of emergency and hazard vehicles. The flashing lights on a New York State police car could soon look different and police hope they'll grab your attention. Police are testing lights as they continue to enforce the move over law. Atia Collins reports live now from 490 in Rochester and Atia under the move over law motorists have to change lanes if there's an emergency vehicle on the side of the highway. That's exactly right, Maureen, but many drivers don't follow that law. And for emergency vehicles stopping on the side of busy highways like 490 here, it can be dangerous. Those new vertical lights can hopefully improve safety. The move over law is designed to protect officers making stops on the side of busy roads. It requires cars to move over one full lane from emergency or hazard vehicles where they are stopped with flashing lights. But drivers don't always obey the rules. I think people don't realize how dangerous it is to be on the side of the road, uh, whether it's for us or the people that we're helping or possibly arresting. Many police cars already have a horizontal light bar on the car. These are what the new vertical lights look like. State patrols will begin testing them now. The goal is to make stop patrol cars more noticeable to drivers. It'll give people a little bit more distance uh, that they can recognize that there's something going on up ahead to slow down even before they get to our location. Disobeying the law not only puts officers in danger, but it can lead to heavy fines for drivers. Trooper O'Donnell says their priority is safety and these lights could protect everyone on the road. The bottom line is we need people to obey the move over law. If you see emergency services person on the side of the road, please move over. Not only will it keep us safe, but also the people that were helping. Now, Trooper O'Donnell told us that these vertical lights have already been distributed to some patrols around the state. And the study will take place in major cities throughout the state, including right here in Rochester. Atia Collins, News 8. Atia, thank you. Drivers who violate the move over law face fines of up to $450 and two points on their license, which, of course, also increases their insurance.